when I first started, I often got asked one question is, what do you think you can stand, how do you think you can stand out compared to other people or compared to other companies around the same industry? So for us, basically what we do is we talk to parents. Um, it's very, very important because you really truly need to understand the customer needs. At the same time, we also need to talk with our kids because our kids is basically the user. So you, you, we talk to parents because it's parents who pay the money. So we need to know who's paying the money. But at the same time, we talk to our user because that is them who use it. We use the seed money, we start our first program uh, with the Baptist University and then we managed to run it for uh, the three months, I think. And then afterwards, we try to keep it, carry on for a, around a year. But then mm, we actually find it pretty hard because for parents to, especially in Hong Kong, to think that sports is the most important thing for them, they think it's, yes, it's very important. However, it's not the most important. So some parents actually thought that, hey, your idea is, is actually very good. My kids actually very like benefit a lot. However, they also see that if we want to carry on and spread our mission, where we wanted to show that each kid also have their own strength and also their talent, then we also have to have some income. So parents actually suggest to us that, hey, you know what? Every single day, my kids go to school, they are struggling. They don't know how to study. When they come back home, they've got nowhere to go uh, to do their homework because outside tutorial center doesn't want them as well as just by drilling, they don't, it doesn't work for them. So I started to think back, hey, how did I manage to get my two master? And how did I manage to overcome my dyslexia? And then I started to build my own curriculum and think back how different friends and teachers also helped me to learn how to learn. So then I thought, hey, maybe that's what they need. The gap is if the parents actually realize or find out that their kids have special needs or have dyslexia, then they will go to therapeutic center. The therapeutic center, basically, they will uh, have service like occupational therapy, speech therapy, and then they're trying to help them with fine motor skills or how to sit properly in order to hold their pen properly and write properly. However, it doesn't really fit in the academic side. So when parents actually face, hey, my kids cannot learn, they ca he cannot follow the academic or curriculum in, in, at school, then what do they do? They take them to traditional tutorial center. But then at the same time, traditional tutorial center is mainly drilling, drilling, drilling all the time. And for, for our kids to learn, basically, the more that you drill them, the more they will refuse. And actually, some of our kids will actually develop a lot of uh, really negative behavior so or aggressive behavior. So parents were actually thinking, hey, actually, is there another way? And so I thought with what the parents told me before, like how did I, they always ask me, how did I actually learn and overcome my dyslexia? And then I thought this is really the gap. And so we really do create a center where we focus on learning strategies. So learning strategies means tools for them to learn how to learn so that they never need to rely on other people. Both means strength within yourself. What our students need is not a conventional way of learning a word, like using phonics or even using the sound word pairs in order to link the words in how to spell the word. So at Boas, we're utilizing their strength in terms of visual, auditory and kinesthetic approach. So these games and curriculums are all built upon their strength in these aspects. Right now, we gain a lot of awards. And the reason why we gain a lot of awards is because not only do we have demand all the time, but we also position ourselves very, very unique so that no other people can really just um, copy you or duplicate your idea. So this is, I think, uh, as a startup especially, you really, really got to think about what makes you stand out. I think that is the questions that all startups have to think through. Yes.